Hey guys, uh, it's Luke here. I'm just going to quickly show you a video of how to set up a Minecraft server. Uh, this could be for Feed the Beast uh, or Minecraft. Um, but yeah, okay, so what you want to do first is you want to make a new new folder. Let me just make a new folder. Uh, call this whatever you want. I'm going to be downloading your craft today, so it's going to be my your craft server. Uh, we'll leave this here now. Okay, now we need to go on the internet. Uh, the first thing you want to do is download the server file, and to get to the server file, you need to either go on to Minecraft.net or to FeedTheBeast.com uh, with uh, hyphens. Uh, you can just log in on Minecraft uh, with your details, and then you can go down to download, and it should be down a multiplayer server. Uh, if you're running on Windows, you just want to set up the server easily. Download this file, so you download that. Um, or alternatively, you can go on to feed the beast uh, because I'm doing a your craft video. This will be for your craft. So you download the server. So I'll just repeat what I just did there. You go to the, the top bar. Uh, you go to download, and it will drag you down to the bottom, or you can just scroll down. Download the server. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a your craft, as I said. So download the server. Uh, this should take uh, a couple of, or well, for me it takes a couple of seconds. But um, this it's the same process with a, a Minecraft server. You don't have to name the file uh, your craft or whatever. You can name it wherever you want. It's just so we can like locate the files. So now we open the your craft file. Uh, we want to. Um, oh yeah, okay. Right now I'm using the Win WinRAR to uh, open this this file. So if you don't have WinRAR, um, I will like write it into the video. But you need that. Uh, you want to go back uh, and go to the file um, to the file you downloaded. Uh, I did number two this time, so I'm going to extract to a speci specified folder. Um, I'm just going to wait for this to load quickly, and we're going to want to put this into the Yogcraft folder that I just created, the Yogcraft server, which will be on my desktop. So I click OK to that. Let it finish extracting. We can close this. Uh, we can close this. Um, we can close this. And so the server is now in here. So this is the basic like folder um, that like your server will be running from. But we don't need to do this right now. Uh, what we need to do is we need to find the IP address first. So we go to www.ipchicken.com. Uh, this is my IP address. Uh, so yeah, this is my IP address. So we're going to make a note of that. So just notepads. You don't have to do this, but um so that's my IP address and now we need to set the port forward in um I use BT uh my internet provider is BT so I'm just going to show you how I would do this so I go to my BT home hub uh, page which is 192.168.1.254 you open that and you'll get to your main menu like uh and then you go to settings uh you want to log into your admin which I just did. Then you'll find a bar at the top below the settings, which will um, allow you to do choose from the options. If you go to port forwarding, um, actually no, sorry, you want to go to advanced settings first. Uh, you want to continue to advanced settings. Then you want to go to port forwarding. Now we want to make um, the application so it allows programs to go through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, on the configuration we're currently selected on now, we want to change from configuration to supported applications. Um, I've already got a, a the game set up, but I'm going to make another one, so add a new game. Um, in the game and application name, you just want to write Minecraft or whatever you want. So I'm going to put Minecraft Tutorial Server. So um, copy an existing game, you don't want to do that. Uh, but then I would write this in again, actually, sorry. Just to make sure. Uh, port range. The ports um, is two five five six five and two five five six five. Uh, I don't understand why it translates to because um, I don't understand. I don't understand this. I just know that when someone tries to connect from any port, they will it will be translated to this port, which is the default port of Minecraft. So if, now, if I add this, uh, it should come up that any if. Um, my protocol is any, so anyone connecting from any kind of um, port range, and then it connects to that and connects to that. So now you need to click apply. This should apply that. So I have this uh, Minecraft tutorial server. Okay, now I'm going to go back to basic settings, go back to port forwarding. I'm going to find my Minecraft tutorial server. 
I'm going to select the device, which is the real deal, and I'm going to add it. Okay, so now my Minecraft tutorial server is online. It's got the ID of 20 AA 4B. So this kind of stuff is uh, this is irrelevant, but so I know now that anyone who tries to connect to my Minecraft uh, server will be pushed into. Like I have, to, I can even delete this. Will be pushed into the port of 25565, which allows, which I have just set up so that everyone connecting to 25565 will be able to on my internet will be pushed to my computer which there will be a server waiting for under my IP address. Um, so now I open the Yorkcraft server. I can, this is all like, this is all in kind of useless stuff. You don't really need to know. You just want to start the server. Uh, let it run. It's going to make some, some mod packs and stuff. So let's do it stuff. This will, it's the exact same for uh, Minecraft. It just, um, it may, I think it is called server start. But we'll just let this run. Right now, what it's doing is creating a um, the server. Uh, let's load in the properties. Here we go. Two five five six five. That's my. That's the ports that we just have pushed uh, all the traffic to, which is um, now being forced onto my Minecraft server. Once the fit, um, all the files finished, I, I, while it's doing that, I'm gonna open my feed the beast client. So FTB, FTB launcher, there you go. So right now it's preparing the world. Uh, the console should open, and then you'll get to your launcher. Uh, because I'm playing on Yogcraft, I scroll down, I click Yogcraft, uh, I log in under my uh, username, which if you wanted to create a new profile, where you log in, and then you launch it. This should work now. This would be really embarrassing if it didn't. Let load up. Okay, this is now where we go back to the IP address that we had. Um, and seeing as my IP address as I opened it in a notepad, I'm just going to copy that. I can now close that. I don't need to save it because it's, I can just go back onto IP Chicken and it will be there. It should load. Here we go. Okay, well, so now I'm on the Feed the Beast client under the Yogcraft mod pack. Uh, you can see th that I'm under the Yogcraft mod pack because it says in the top left hand corner. It's, a, it's the same as the Minecraft launcher, except it's just on the mod pack. So I'm going to go to um, multiplayer now. Um, I'm going to delete this because that was the world I made earlier. Uh, I'm going to add a server, and the server name is going to be whatever you would like and the server address is going to be my IP address which I copied and pasted earlier um, so it's 86.194.132.183 and then I'm going to add in the port forwarding um, and I can hide the address just in case but I don't really mind because I'm putting this on the internet anyway and done and this should now be able to now you click, oh wait, you click join server and after you've joined the server, it should 100% work. And there you go, guys. That is how you set up a Yogcraft server with. Well, yeah, this is Yogcraft, as you can see. I have a lot of random stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will add, uh, upload a Minecraft server tutorial as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, like the video, share it if you want. But yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Right, bye bye.